Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to present you some recent developments that we made of our new project called Vulnerability Lookup. You might already know it. This is a presentation I gave uh, two weeks ago, but it was in 40 minutes in Valencia. I will do it way more fast today, and there will be a little demonstration in the end. So this project led by uh, Circle, it's an open source uh, software, uh, so all software that we are doing, uh, Circle, under uh, Afero uh, license, new Afero license, and uh, it's uh, funded by uh, European Union. Um, so uh, we are maintaining another uh, open source software, it's called CV Search. You might know it or maybe you're using it since like more 12 years. It's uh, on production now and really used uh, by a lot of organizations. It has been designed as an internal tools. The goal was to, uh, to fetch CVs information and to use it locally in your organization. But now we have around 15 to 20 thousands of queries per second on this service, so it's really uh, heavily used and we are suffering some uh, defaults and uh, defects that we made uh, like back in the past. And uh, another big issue is the uh, diversification of vulnerability sources. Uh, today we have uh, vulnerability sources advisory from uh, GitHub, uh, CSAF, Common Security Advisory Framework, Python and uh, various other sources. So we wanted to create a software that is able to collect various data with uh, any kind of JSON formats and uh, various feeders. So uh, this is currently all the sources that are maintained in the software. Uh, since uh, almost a year now, uh, most of the feeders uh, has been written by uh, Raphael. Uh, recent feeders is Tailscale. We introduced as well a Japan vulnerability database and uh, Variot. And uh, yeah, uh, all sources are exported because we want to uh, to export everything and to publish it as uh, open data. What we are providing the core functionalities right now is a fast lookup API. It's documented with a Swagger interface, so you can easy use it. Uh, you don't need a token or uh, any kind of authentication. So all read information, you can use it like that. Uh, we support uh, as well a local source if you want to use the software internally and in your organization and you want to publish a security advisory, but not to publish it with other instances because it will be possible to, uh, distri to have a distribution of software and to synchronize the instance. So to keep it really inside your organization. Uh, we have started to uh, introduce uh, EPSS from first, Exploit Prediction uh, Scoring System. Basic uh, introduction because we would like to have our own models and source code. And we have an extensive support SSS. Every views almost are providing RSS atoms support. And the core feature that we have added recently uh, is because now the software is more uh, software that the community can use. You are even invited to create your own account. I will give you the URL later. And if you create your account, you will be able to create comments and to use tags from taxonomy. You might know uh, the MILT, uh, MISP vulnerability taxonomy. We are using the same for this software. The goal is to be able to pivot on the source that we are collecting for MISP and here the data that we are collecting here. And the last uh, big update that we made uh, uh, last week is the sightings. It's the same principle than in MISP, so we have, but we have different type of events. Here is a type exploited, for example. Um, I have three minutes left. One minute? Well, okay. Uh, so this is a backend architecture. As you can see, you have uh, KVROX is used to fetch all the data and uh, from various sources, etc. And I will go to the software. It's more interesting. Here it is. Uh, Fire. Oh là là, ce mess with the screens. Uh, so it's the main page. You can go and create an account here and when you are authenticated, those charts are generated from the sightings that the community will provide. Uh, you can go to uh, vulnerabilities and see all the sources in tabs. The network history is done by a smartphone. To see here, it's ordered by uh, publish date. The CV ID, uh, next tab is planned. So here we have common, 
it's a site in, for example, we have the date, and you see that it's exploited. And you, if it's patched, you just have to click on add a sighting, and you see that you have a patch or something like that. If you see by an analyst, or uh, yeah, you can just specify it. Uh, yeah. The bundles, you can create bundles of vulnerabilities. This is quite useful, for example, for Eventy, uh, recent vulnerabilities. You can create a bundle, put the descriptions, and you bundle a, a set of vulnerabilities, actually. Okay. I won't display you the admin interface, comments, and as I said, it's more, we want to really engage the community, that's why there is a contributors page, so you create an account and you start to, to provide, to give more information, context, if it's a remediation, if you know about a patch, uh, proof of concept, you can say it here, etc., and you will be on this page. Thank you very much.